I have another handbag here for you guys and um, this is a um, Dior monogram trotter print in uh, blue and this is a vintage um, piece and it has uh, it, it has a crossbody strap and um, this is a large um, handbag. It's a vertical messenger <laughs> um, handbag crossbody. And it has that um, number one um, symbol over there. Dior Trotters is actually the most famous um, Dior handbag pattern. And um, they have really, really, really taken off again. And so even the vintage bags are very, very expensive, especially if they have this print, be it in black, <coughs> blue, or um, red. If you are interested, I have uh, already featured um, two Dior handbags and um, for the past, in the past uh, week, so uh, you can just go through my channel because I try to review each um, bag um, as soon as I um, get them. This is uh, an ideal bag for, I would say, um, traveling and um, shopping and um, school bag, I guess. Um, this is very, very versatile. And it just looks um, classy and sporty at the same time. It's not one of those tacky handbags where uh, that looks so tacky. This one, of course, is Dior print. So, um, and it has patent leather uh, trimmings and sides. And it has gold hardware. Let me just show you the bag. <coughs> Closer look. So this is coated canvas. But I just love it. This is coated canvas, and this is a patent leather. I'm not entirely sure what they call them because they have several numbers, number one, number two, and the one that I reviewed earlier has uh, embroidery. And uh, I would like to own um, the trotter in pink also, but it just looks, all their print um, trotters seem to have um, discoloration. <clears throat> so this has a thick almost an inch and a half or one inch and one fourth um, wide of um, strap the, the strap is um, adjustable of course with silver buckle hardware and as you can see letter D over the very thick letter D hardware the only flaw to this bag is that, of course, um, it would be prone to staining, um, especially the um, patent leather, but you can clean it up with a non-alcohol um, hand sanitizer. I got that uh, tip from, um, from this Louis Vuitton um, SA. <laughs> <laughs> who told me I use um, non-alcohol hand sanitizer to wipe but this time I used a non-acetone to remove the marks and um, yeah okay the back and the bottom okay this is a huge handbag guys it's really really big <clears throat> okay so the, the height of this bag is um, almost almost 12 inches, 11 inches, something. And then the length of this bag, oh, geez, from seam to seam, would be 10 inches. And the width is um, 4 inches. The problem with uh, vintage Dior's is that the lining would be totally scuffed. This lining, um, most of the time, would uh, get scuffed easily. Um, so you're better off replacing those. And sometimes they would have um, tacky blue marks. Sorry. Okay. 
I was uh, excited <laughs> for this bag because I thought this bag was going to be um, I thought this had a lot of flaws but it turned out that um, um, this bag is actually in excellent condition the surface of the trotter doesn't have any stains and um, as uh, I've mentioned I was able to remove the patent marks the the marks on the patent leather <coughs> and it has a silver hardware okay so the interior is oh you can remove that the interior is a uh, one is silk a silky is this blue or black it looks black or it could be dark blue i'm not sure guys but it's it has this it is a silky um very very um thick lining and of course the the christian dior paris and the made in italy and that's the it's m0006 um, I don't know how to decipher, guys. Um, so, okay. There you go. And the underneath the zipper says Lampo. My other um, Dior earlier says, uh, underneath it's just Christian Dior. This one just says Lampo. So, I guess they used, yes, this one. What does it say? It doesn't say anything over there. Now, so on this one, you have to put something to maintain its um, structure, guys, because this is... Um, this has like a sheen to it, guys. This is coated canvas, but with a sheen. And I just love the blue thing. I don't think this is vintage, vintage. Um, but I know that these bags have just been resurrected. What I'm trying to say is they introduced, they have been, you know, uh, I have owned uh, vintage uh, Dior's where and, um, the patent leather would be completely um, flaky and peel peeled off. So um, it does, um, I think I paid up uh, $200 or less than that for, to replace the white lining on my pink um, Dior Trotter. So I have already sold that. I don't know, did I sell it or did I consign it? I think I've sold it somewhere. So um, yeah, because it wasn't just a practical bag for me, but this one, because of its style and functionality, it's really, I'm gonna keep this one. But the problem with this is just too big. I mean, I don't need that much space. I wish it was half this size. But, you know, I, it's very hard for me to to um, pick an ideal bag. An ideal bag for me is a tote bag. And um, if it's a crossbody, this is too big. But um, I'm going to keep this. I love this. Okay, I'm in love with this, guys. Okay, so... Uh, oh, did I, did I tell you? Okay, so... so one one side of the um one side would have just this um buckle and on the other side would have just the d okay so there you go this is unmistakably a dior and it's just i'm just so in love with this bag okay there you go guys bye